Hello, and welcome back to Graham's Tutorials. In today's episode, we're diving into how to create a brand new family tree in Gramps and start building out your family relationships step by step. We'll cover how to create a new tree database, how to add individual people, and how to link those people as parents, spouses, and children. So if you're ready to get your genealogy journey started in Gramps, let's go. All right, I've got Gramps open here, and if this is your very first time opening it and you haven't created a tree yet, this little box should pop up right away. Manage family trees. Now, if this didn't show up, don't worry. That usually means Gramps automatically opened the last tree you were working on. To bring this window back, just look in the top left corner for this icon that looks like a mini pedigree chart. It says Manage Databases. Click that and it'll pop the window back up. Or you can also go to Family Trees, Manage Family Trees in the menu, or press Ctrl O on your keyboard. Now let's create our very first tree. Just click New over on the right hand side. Gramps will name it something generic like Family Tree 1, but we can make it a bit more personal. I'll call mine the Woolison Family Tree. Type your name, press Enter, and boom. We've got ourselves a brand new tree. Now before we open it, a few quick things to know. Info gives you details about your tree, like where it's stored and what version of Gramps it uses. Rename lets you change the name anytime. Delete permanently removes the tree, so be careful with that one. And Convert is handy if you're updating an old tree from an earlier version of Gramps. If you ever need to repair a corrupted database, there's also a repair button. Fingers crossed you'll never need it. And don't forget, it's always a good idea to back up your work regularly. I've got a tutorial on that if you need it. Check it out after this one. All right, let's load up our tree. Click the tree you want, then hit Load Family Tree. It might not look like anything happened, but up here in the title bar, you'll now see your tree name. That tells us we're in the right place. Time to add some folks to this tree. Click on the People tab on the left side. You'll see an empty list. No surprise, we haven't added anyone yet, but let's fix that. There are a few different ways to add someone. Pick whichever feels easiest to you. Go to Add, Person Right Click in the white space and choose Add or, my favorite, click the little plus sign plus symbol at the top. It says Add a New Person. That brings up this box, the Add Person window. Let's say we're starting with Adam Wollison. Just type in his name, select the gender, let's say male, and click OK. Gramps will give you a little reminder if you forget to set the gender, so don't worry if you miss it. And just like that, Adam is in our tree. Now let's give Adam a spouse. Same process, click the plus sign, and we'll add Henrietta Keeper. Choose female, click OK, and now we've got two people in our database, but they're just floating around separately. No relationship yet. Let's fix that. Click the Families tab. This is where we create those relationships. Click the plus sign to add a new family. Now we get a new window. This one's a little different. We're going to choose Adam as the father and Henrietta as the mother you'll find them listed under their surnames. Once you select both, click OK, and there's your first family unit. Want to label their relationship? Double-click the family, and in the type dropdown, choose something like married. You can even type your own label if you'd prefer. Now, let's have their child, say Sarah Willison. Click the plus sign in the children's section, and a new person window pops up. Gramps will auto-fill the last name based on the father's surname, but you can change it if needed. Type in Sarah, select her gender, click OK, and you'll get a prompt asking about her relationship to her parents. Just choose birth for both. Nice work, we now have a full family. Need to make changes? Double click any person or family to open the edit window. And remember, minus sign in the people tab equals deletes the person from the tree. Minus in families equals removes them from the family but keeps them in the tree. You can always undo your last actions if you make a mistake. Just go to edit, undo. Want to add Adam's parents now? Go back to the Families tab, create a new family, and either add Nicholas and Katerina Wallace as new people, or select them if you already added them before. Then just add Adam as their child, same process as before. And that's it. You've just created your first family train gramps, added people, linked relationships, and even made a few edits along the way. From here, you can start entering more details like birth dates, photos, and sources, but we'll cover those in a future video. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more family history tips. And if you've got questions or ideas for future videos, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Graham's Tutorials.